Hello everybody and welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. We have got quite a lot of stuff to run through today because there has been an update very recently on the 14th of January uh, for the game. So it has been a very big update. Obviously you can see straight away the texture in here has been dramatically improved. It was like a paper mache sort of style before but now it's uh, much more realistic so that's very good. Secondly, if we just jump out of here, we have got the uh, fishing update, so we need to buy the fishing rod from John, who is just over there. But also, we have the bus stop, just over here. Um, so, to be honest, I don't know if the bus stop was already working in a previous update, but we do have the ability to use the bus stop to travel around the map as like a, a quick travel. So we could travel to here, for example, to another um, bus stop on the map. So, a very good way of getting about instead of having to teleport through vehicles or that kind of thing. Oh look, wildlife. But no, that is a very good uh, function which has been put into the game. Let me just travel back up here again uh, to where we were before. Where is my farm? Here. That's right. Okay, so what we're going to do is run over to John and we're going to buy a fishing rod from him. I think they are fairly expensive. Oh, he has a customer. Hello, hello, let's all wave at each other. John? Good to see you. Can I help you? Yep. We want to trade. Care to trade? Sure. What do you need? And we would like to trade the uh, fishing rod just here. 312 euros. Fishing rod plus pond equals profit. Sounds good. Also, though, we have a chainsaw. Cuts bushes and smaller trees. That could be very good as well to have in the future. So while we're fishing, I'm going to discuss the situation with cheating. Um, but I'll come on to that in a second. We need to actually drive down to the fishing lake first of all. And hopefully we can make quite a bit of money out of these fish. We're not going to be doing this for the entire video. We do need to progress with the arable side of things too. I've actually been doing quite a bit off screen, but I'll come on to that in a second. So if we just park over here, it's close enough. Um, I'll begin to fish. I've never actually fished before in the game, so I don't know exactly how to do it, but I'm sure it won't be too difficult. Use fishing rod. Um, oh, it just did something. There. Left click. And then catch fish. I'm assuming as soon as you see it tugging. There we go. I've caught a fish. Brilliant. Another fish. So we just wait here until you see a fish tug. Quiet so far. I think it does aid you as well, so even if you miss it from uh, being tugged, it will say left click, left mouse button. Although it does seem to be a very quiet area here, despite catching a fish in the first few seconds. Hmm. Should we try a different area? I think we should do. Let's try over here. Yeah, I can't believe that. It caught a fish straight away. And now it's very quiet. You can actually see the fish. I'll show you one close up in a second. Although if we go swimming in there, they're probably going to swim away fairly quickly. So I mustn't make too much of a splash when we jump in. We'll have to go in very slowly. Ah, yes, it, it does seem quiet. Maybe we should look and see exactly where the fish are first. Then we'll have... An oh, look, that caught a fish. That did catch one. Um, yeah, let's just swim around in here. I have seen some in here, so they're not too far away. It's fairly deep, actually. Fishies! Where have they gone? Fishies! Might be a bit too shallow here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's suddenly gone really quiet. There they are. Two there. Right, let's try and um, try and catch at least one of them. Three fish. Come on, fishies. They have completely ignored my lure. Great. Okay, well, who knows? They might... Oh, it's tugging. Someone's tugging. 
Yes. Oh, yes I did. I caught a fish. Right, back over there. Loads of fish over there. So many. I really don't know what they're worth. Oh, it's tugging. Another fish. We'll get it in the deeper area. There does seem to be a lot swimming around here. It probably is a better view from up on the jetty sort of thing there. I think I'll go back up. Did we catch one? We did! Still a fish, even though I didn't see any at all. So I think this pretty much does prove that it isn't too hard to fish on Farmer's Dynasty. So just another fun thing to do to get a bit more income in. But yes, as I was mentioning earlier, I was going to discuss the situation of cheating. And uh, despite only 13% of the voters on the previous video saying don't cheat, and uh, obviously that leaves 87% who said cheat, I'm not going to. I'm not going to cheat. So I know I did say if at least 66 people say cheat, which they did, I would cheat. Um, I've come to the conclusion that it's not worth it. Because, um, yeah, I don't want to be sort of known as the, the YouTuber that uh, did the cheating Farmer's Dynasty uh, series. I want to do it properly. And to be honest, it's a more, more sense of achievement if you do it properly as well. Uh, secondly, it is possible to cheat money still. There is still a way. I won't say how you do it, because I don't really want to support it that much, because it is more fun to play properly. Um, but no, I, I really don't want to take that approach of cheating. So, we are going to get the new tractor fairly soon. I have a plan of doing this properly, um, and still gaining the tractor very soon. The plan is to do most of uh, the sort of uh, tedious work, you could say, off-screen. So I do loads of stuff between videos, episodes, but nothing that you'd actually miss. So, for example, ploughing a field. So I will still show some ploughing and some cultivating and all that kind of stuff, but just not too much of it. Anything which is repetitive, then it will be done off screen. For example, before this video, I have done some ploughing. We have three fields in total, which we own, um, one of which is ready to seed. The other one needed ploughing, it was just stubble. And I think the other one needs to be either cultivated or drilled as well. So the one which was the furthest behind, I have tried to make it catch up by ploughing it. It's only to be cultivated and drilled. So hopefully, um, by the end of this episode, we'll have at least two fields drilled. That would be perfect. But first, I think that is enough of the fishing for the time being. How many fish have we caught? We have caught six fish and four fish, different types. So I wonder if they're going to put in different... Um, breeds in the future, different varieties of fish. Um, we shall see, but first I need to eat an egg and some zucchini soup. Lovely. Then we're going to go to bed. Ah, Janet, hello. You've come to fish as well, I see. Hello, Janet. Um, in fact, you're in a perfect position there for my screenshot. For the thumbnail. Okay, Janet, goodbye. What are you doing? Please fish. Please pose with the fishing rod so I can do my thumbnail. Don't just wander around aimlessly. Goodbye, Janet. Thank you for helping. Actually, Janet, before you go, we just have we'll something to say later. to you. We'll talk later. Fine. Be that way. In that case, let's just go and sell the fish we've just caught. Hopefully there is quite a bit of money in them. Um, I would guess that it's going to be something like, I don't know, five... Would it be five euros each? Is that a bit much? Good to see you. Can I help you? They are freshly caught. Care to trade? Sure. What do you need? But all these different ways of being able to make money on the game, I think it's very good. Four euros each for those and four forty-eight for those. Not bad. So that is twenty-four euros for those ones. And seventeen ninety-two for those. Nice. Uh, secondly, we should Probably just sell these two eggs. They are fairly old. So, and actually the milk is too. We've had them a while. But that's good because I think we have some more eggs and milk to retrieve. Yes, Jackson, is there anything you actually want here? Because you keep waving at me in a very strange way. No? Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let's go and milk the cows. I think they do need to be done. It's probably time to rest. Yeah. We'll have a rest fairly soon. Because we go to bed at Harpers too. 
Um, <laughs> of course we don't. But I do need to rest because uh, our sleep is actually at 55. We probably could plough a field or um, maybe drill a field in that time. Oh, we've already done it today. Okay. Even more reason to sleep. We need more money. Now, I think one of the fields is going to be corn, as we have the corn header here, or maize. So, that is what we'll do in one of these fields. But I think, also, to begin with, we have something in storage. I might actually have to be attached to the drill to refill it. But I'm pretty sure we start off with wheat. Um, so, I would say this field here is going to be wheat. This one here will be corn. And the third field, which we do own, but I have actually forgotten where it was. I think it was one of these. Is it that one there? Yes, this one here. That one needs to be something else as well. Probably oilseed rape or something. What is the status of that of that field? Ah, okay. 0% ploughed, 0% cultivated, which means it still needs quite a bit of work, which means also that is the furthest behind field. But let's just finish off this field here. Just a tiny piece left. I just left it so I could just prove that I haven't sort of cheated and found a way of ploughing a field off screen without doing any work. Yeah. One thing you must remember is there'll be no cheating in this series whatsoever. It is obviously probably a disappointment to 87% uh, of my audience. But don't worry. I'll do it in a way which makes it very interesting still. But done fairly. Because unlike a lot of people who actually posted the comments down below who said, what's the point in cheating? I think, yeah, what is the point in cheating? Only to progress the videos faster, but what's the point? We might as well just play properly. Having said that, cheating in Farming Simulator in certain aspects is required for the videos because otherwise I'd actually get nothing done at all. So cheating has to be done in moderation on this channel, but for this series, I really can't see the need. Now if I can see a way of cutting corners, for example, without cheating as such, something which is already in the game, I will still do that, but to be honest, I don't know if there is a way of cutting a corner. I suppose you could not plough, just do cultivating, which isn't actually even unrealistic, it's just I think the game does want you to plough as well. So that's good. That's all finished. So let's just hitch up to the drill, which we got in the previous video. Um, yes, magazine. And we start off with wheat. Good. So yeah, we have quite a few different crop types here. I would like to do different stuff, but I don't know if they have to be done. Yeah, I think everything here is done with the combine harvester. So if we can do some peas or something as well in the third field instead of altered rape, that should be much more interesting. So hopefully that is everything sorted. Hopefully we can just go straight into this field and start to drill it. Is that working? Oh, it is. Yeah, good. And the other approach I'll be taking is time-lapsing. It looks like the cruise control speed for this is fairly fast. But that isn't really a bad thing. I do want to get it done fairly quickly. So I think, uh, yeah, time for a time-lapse. And there we go, another field done. In fact, the first field done. It is 96.57% uh, planted, so obviously I have missed something here. Um, also, it appears to continue using the seed even if you've already drilled the entire field. I think I might have missed a few pieces over here. 
Yeah, because they only does add up to less than 4%, which has been missed, which isn't really a great deal. But yeah, that would do. That would do nicely. So if I just put it away, put the drill back in the barn. It is unfortunate that you can't turn the drill off. I finish off with 97% drill, so that's pretty good. But the other thing is you've probably noticed the tractor is getting dirty. This is something else which was added on the 14th of January in the same update as the fishing. You uh, can now wash your tractors and I think you can also repair them and possibly even paint some implements, I'm not entirely sure. But I think this is all done from here. I've never done it before. Um, I think it's from this shed here. Hmm. If I just go up to it, we should be able to discover something. I don't know exactly. What I might have to do is take the trailer out and drive the tractor fully in. A bit of trial and error. In fact, the grain in the trailer should really be sold. Come on. It's in a really bad position. Terrible position. There we go. Good. Right, so if I can just pull this out of the way. Very soft ground here. Everything is sinking in. And drive the mucky tractor into the building. Hopefully. Ah, here we go. Wash vehicle. Is that free? I hope it is. Hang on. Did that charge me? I don't know. But anyway, that's how you wash your vehicle. Uh, in that case, maybe you actually drop the plow off in there and you get another option as well. I don't know. I've never done it before. But it's just a, a guess from reading the uh, changelog. It's fun trying stuff out. So again, maybe if I uh, take it off first, did that do something? I don't know. I don't know if you can paint it or not. I, I really couldn't say for sure. I can't say for sure. Um, however, there is definitely something about that kind of stuff in the changelog. So yeah, I'm not saying it's impossible to do. Anyway, yeah. We can't be messing around too much with the plow. So we'll drop it off, and I think what we should do before we continue cultivating is we should go over to the sell point and sell the grain in here. Out of interest, I wonder if we have anything in the storage point as well. Let's just see. Oh, that's weird. Nothing in there. And the grain silo. Yeah, 280 kilograms of canola. So that could be sold also. Now, yes, this is the other issue. Because we have this old tractor, we are very slow. Um, the, the bigger tractor is much faster, so this is why I really want to have it. And uh, the problem is, you see, the old mill, which has the best price, is right down here, which would take us forever. So I think really, although we shouldn't do, we're going to take it to the nearest point. Luckily, the trailer is only... Okay, it's 70% full, but um, yeah, we've got lots to do. We can't really afford to go all the way down there. When we have the bigger tractor, we can go anywhere. Right, okay, so there we go, it's all sold. Let's take it back to the farm, and I think it's probably time to sleep as well. We'll just park up. It's, I think it's about 6 o'clock, so it's a bit early, but uh, we're still going to go to bed. Anything happening in the greenhouse? I suppose there could be some progress. It has been a while since I last checked. Ugh. Spinning around in circles makes me feel ill for some reason, even in the game. So, yeah, nothing really happening. It's, it's all growing and everything. It's all good. But there's nothing that we can do. Just leave it to continue. And uh, to be honest, when they're ready, I don't know what we do exactly. So, it will be interesting to see. This is why some people will skip time, like keep sleeping for two weeks or something, a week at a time, so they can sell their crops and produce and stuff. Apparently as well, it is a wise idea to do the banister, 
So I might do in the future with wood glaze. Okay, so here we are. Good night. Let's go to bed. Much better. New eggs are in the hen house. What about cows? Yep, the cows need milking as well. So off we go. Run downstairs. At least we feel well rested. Good to hear. We can have a fresh egg for our uh, breakfast. We'll do the cows first. If you keep spamming E, you can milk them slightly faster. I don't know why I'm milking its bottom. Yeah, we need to be more around the side. Plus three milk from that one. In fact, I think they're all plus three except for the end one. Okay, as then corrected. That one was plus two. What about you? Plus three? Two? Okay. Ugh. Plus three, and finally, please give us three. We need the money. Thank you. Good cow. So that's you finished with for today. Hopefully they have enough feed. That is a good point, actually. How do you check? Hey. Yep, they have quite a lot, actually, so that should be fine. Good. As for the hens, they have, yep, enough feed as well. So we can leave them for the time being. Oh, look at this. Lots of eggs. Thank you, hens. I'm guessing if we have loads of hens, it will fill pretty much all of these compartments. We can make a lot of money, potentially. Good. Okay, so that's the hen sorted out too. So before we go anywhere, a fresh egg, just raw. <laughs> we probably should cook it, but there we go. Quite a few. We're very hungry. And the rest can be sold to John. Hello, John. Good to see you. Can I help you? Yeah, we're going to trade with you again. Care to trade? Sure. What do you need? We should probably buy the chainsaw too. I'd like to try it out. We might buy it now and use it in the next episode though. Okay, 52 euros for the milk. Pretty good. Um, yeah, so our money is going up slowly but surely. And as soon as we have the next big harvest done, we should make potentially a lot of money. In fact, before I do anything, if we just hover over here, Soy, seven, oh, actually, no, peas, 891, 891 euros per ton. Yeah, we're definitely going to do some peas. I think, and I'm pretty confident we do it with the combine harvester. There's no other machine, unless, of course, we have to use the new bigger combine harvester to do the peas, which would be a bit of a disaster, but it's not the end of the world. So, yeah, what we have to do now is we need to get back onto the tractor. It'll be a time lapse, so don't worry. Um... We will cultivate and also drill, although I did notice the pieces of the field where I had ploughed in this field on the left hand side, the drill just didn't even seem to mind it, it was just ploughed not cultivated, so we could potentially just drill straight into it, possibly. Um, we might have to go down to the agricultural store first to buy some more seed. Um, we might have enough for wheat, but I didn't want to do any more wheat, so yeah. We also have some fertilizer in storage too, so we're going to have to fertilize these fields. That drill is actually operating in here. Slightly concerning. So yes, we're going to have to. We're going to have to uh, go to the village, well, the agricultural store. We're going to have to go to the bus stop first, just over here. And yeah, I think it drops us off directly outside. I will check, of course, to make sure it's not charging us. I don't want to be paying for the bus, although <laughs> you would do, unless we had some kind of bus pass, which we probably don't, because we don't seem that old. No offence to OAPs, but um, yeah, let's just see. 4994. And now we've used it. Our money is at 4994. So we do, we must have some kind of bus pass. That's good. So here we are. Maybe it's because we use it so regularly, we get it for free. 
Um, yeah, so peas. I really don't know how many kilograms to buy. About that, I would have thought. Okay, so buy that. Um, yeah, I could have just done them all, actually. That's, um, that's okay. And, uh, yeah, maize. Much cheaper. Anything else? I think everything else is fine. Although we could get some more hens. They're still quite expensive. Yeah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it for the time being. So let's use some of our money up, but it's gonna produce a lot of money as well. Anyway, let's wait for the bus. To travel home. Right. So uh, yeah, from now onwards it's gonna be a time lapse and hopefully the time lapse is gonna include cultivating the field and also drilling it. That means next time we can cultivate and drill the final field, which is actually our smallest, I think. It is kind of, yeah. Very similar in size, but it is smaller. So that one should be fairly quick to do. The tractor, here it is. Yeah, I was gonna try this, but I don't know if we should do. Come on, reverse. Reverse, reverse. Why would it reverse? Okay. It actually will not reverse. I have discovered that it will not reverse with the drill on. If I detach it, it will reverse. But then that's just weird. So, yeah. Which is very strange as well because I have reversed it before. It's just for some reason, now, it doesn't want to. Which means I'm going to have to pull into here in a very strange way. Right, so this is going to be the... Actually, it probably should be the pea field, thinking about it, because we've got a lot of peas, and uh, this is the, the biggest field we have, so... Hang on. Yes, empty the cedar. Fill the cedar. Brilliant. But now, of course, we can't reverse. Weird. I'm having to load, but it says here, for best crops... Well, it did do, at least. It said, for best crops, combine artificial fertiliser with cow manure. So, I didn't know you could fertilise twice on this game, but it looks like you can do. So I have to keep that in mind. Right, loading the game has fixed the problem. I don't know what that was about. It just wouldn't let me reverse with the drill on. It was fine without it. So yeah, this is going to be a test. A pure test to see if we can drill a field which has just been ploughed but not cultivated. It will be quite rough if it does work. But it should be peas. Yep, good. You are sowing on soil that has not been cultivated. Plough and cultivate your fields for better growing crops. So, looking at that, I better stop. It will let us do it, but the productivity won't be as good. If it was just wheat, I don't think I'd have a problem. But with it being a very expensive crop of peas, it would be a big mistake not to cultivate it as well. Because those peas have been actually really expensive to buy. But, uh, yeah, on a time lapse, this won't be a problem. It'd be nice and fast. So, hopefully, within the next maybe three minutes, um, everything here should be completed. Fully cultivated and fully drilled as well. Right, everything there seems to be going pretty well. So, I'll see you in a second, or a minute, or two, or several.
Okay, so there we go. All done. Those two fields are finished. So we have now a full field of wheat and a full field of peas, neither of which are fertilised in any way, um, but I'm sure it won't be too hard to do that in a future video. I was also hoping today to actually go over to one of the exclamation marks on the map to see exactly what we can do there, because I know they are sort of side quests, that kind of thing. So there is the potential there to either get some more money or boost our social points, which is effectively money anyway, because the social points can be used as well as money when buying equipment. So um, receiving social points is just as good as receiving money anyway. So anything, anything at all, which we can get from doing the jobs would be fantastic. But which is our closest? That's a combine harvester. Let's, let's try this again. That didn't really work. There's one here. Um, there's one up there, two up there. That's the closest. And there isn't actually a bus stop anywhere over there. So I'll probably just run. Should be fairly easy, not too far away. But if we can do a very quick side quest for somebody and uh, get something in return, then that'd be a very good end to the episode. Just bouncing over to them. So, who is it with the uh, requirement of something? Somebody over here. In the middle here? Right. I'm busy. You're busy, but you require something. You definitely require something. Not now, sorry. Don't just do that. Speak. Hi. Ah, good. Good morning. Is it still morning, really? Um, right, you need something? Is there something I can help you with? There's a field nearby that needs plowing. Oh no. Will you do it? No. Oh, maybe. 766 euros for doing it? Um, Sounds good. Oh no, That's I just clicked curious. yes. We'll have to do it. What's a good excuse for doing it? Please tell me it's a small field. Okay, so it's this one here. In relation to our fields, it's a very similar size. So yes, that won't take too long to do. So yeah, that should be fairly easy money. Let's just teleport back over here. Um, I teleport to the uh, common harvester. We'll get the plow and we'll go and plow the field very, very quickly. It's a good job I only put it in this shed. Lucky I didn't close all the doors up. And off we go. I don't know why I say it like that. But yes, let's just go and get this job done. And we're done. So the last thing to do is to obviously return back to uh, the client, whatever her name was, Anessa was it? And uh, yeah, receive our 700 or so euros. Should be pretty good. Okay, so she appears to be somewhere here. Um, I always get my nail gun out. It seems to do it automatically. There Thank she is. You. Here's something for you. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Oh, when we get social points too. 1,500 of them. Perfect. So that has actually turned out to be a fairly productive video. If I can keep doing videos like this, um, our progress should always stay high and we should get a lot done. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon.
Bye for now.